Good morning. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm a little bit um sore after celebrating last night. But... <laughs> <laughs> of, course, of course. Obviously, we're here to just talk about your debut novel, Opening Water. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. It has gotten such a buzz on social media. I've been going through all the comments and everything. <laughs> it's a big moment for you. A big moment for you. It is. It is. Yeah, I think for me, I think I, I just kind of wanted, when I was reading it, I just wanted to kind of get an idea of like, what led up to you writing such a sort of powerful novel? What was the process like for you? What was the catalyst, essentially? I think I was, specifically for this project, I was kind of, I was writing a lot of nonfiction at the time, um, just about stuff that I was interested in. So I was writing about photography and writing about music and writing about blackness and love and was really writing a lot about freedom as well and where like freedom can be found for black people and what spaces can house that freedom even if it's brief um and then in may april 2019 i signed with my current literary agent and i was like showing her all of these essays and she was like you, you should write a novel um and so i kind of i revisited these these ideas and these feelings these ideas of freedom and worked from there to create this fictional narrative um, that could house everything that I was thinking and feeling at the time. So would you say that um, a lot of the content in that novel has drawn from your own life experience as well? I'd say it's like, it's perhaps not like the specific events, but more the feelings that I'm trying to express. Yeah. So a lot of the time I'd be like, you know, okay, what what does it feel like to be like at like a live music venue or like, what does it feel like to kind of be like, in the early stages of getting to know someone and feeling like you have like a real attraction to them and I was yeah so I was taking those feelings and then I was I was like creating fictional kind of narrative around that so the feelings were very real but the, the narrative isn't. And your themes in the book as well are really really powerful a lot of people have sort of touched upon it your black mm -hmm. love, race, <laughs> masculinity, um, creativity um, mm -hmm. Do you mind sort of delving into that and why those themes are so important to you to sort of highlight as well? I think as well as it being this like kind of love story, right, it's also just a bit of an, an ode to, to all of the things that I loved. So to South East London and its community, to, to Black art and Black expression. And I think having this real element of Black expression within the novel was really important because I think actually yesterday after after our, the launch event that we did, my my auntie called me. She doesn't often call me, um, and kind of gave her critique of <laughs> of the reading and the event, which I loved. Um, but she said that she said something which really stuck with me. She said that you write how black people are feeling, and I think that was that was something that I was really trying to express. I think it's not so often when we have black narratives they're out of our hands or they're we're seen in a way that perhaps is not the perhaps is not the correct way I don't think there's one correct way but a lot of the time I feel like a lot of the time I feel like media misses the mark and so it was an opportunity for me to to really say okay so this is how I how black I feel <laughs> and perhaps it will resonate with with you too. What would you say was as growing up as sort of a young sort of black boy what was sort of your inspiration at all for sort of, sort of writing in the writing world? What were you sort of, did you draw upon any themes at all? I think when, so like when I was growing up, a lot of the, a lot of the, the writing I was reading was like Mallory Blackman, because she's local, like she's yeah. kind of from the Lucian sort of yeah. <laughs> from the area. And so like, very, like, it was really nice to have someone like writing on that scale, like such incredible work. Um, and just exploring like the kind of like interior and the quieter moments of everyday life. Like her narratives were just, were so good because they like were just, they were just like narratives that I recognized. Like I could see myself so much yeah. in that work. Um, I think so much of my work, my writing and my photography is like about being seen and about allowing other people to see themselves. Absolutely, absolutely. It comes so naturally, like the words off the page, you can tell it's almost come from a very sort of special place in the way that you kind of express yourself. And that really sort of does 
um, come across. As sort of a young Black first time author, what does this mean to you now to sort of be out there and having this response? It must be incredible for you. It's crazy. It's like, I'm really astounded by the response that has that has happened and by yeah like I think it's weird right because you like you write this you write this narrative you write this book and then it leaves your hands and it goes towards other people and it it gains a life of its own and there are things which resonate with other people that you wouldn't have even thought of but you're like oh yeah like I did write that section and that might make someone feel that way um yeah like I feel like really overwhelmingly grateful for for all of it Absolutely. I think it's I think it's so relatable to so many sort of black millennial um, mm -hmm. people as well. And the way that you kind of center it around sort of love and black mm -hmm. love in particular, mm -hmm. something that we often don't see. Um, mm -hmm. Do you mind kind of going into that for me and why that was so important to you to kind of portray that? I think the it's it's interesting. It's only after I kind of stepped away from writing that I real that I realized just how important that narrative was because it gave a really it gave like a kind of very clear and sure expression of what it could mean to love someone and I don't think that that love is just limited to like romantic I think like the the character's kind of interactions with his family or with his friends like it was it was very much an opportunity for me to say okay like there when when you re when you like show love to pe people and care for people there's a there's a freedom in the space that you create for each other where you can just be yourselves. In terms of sort of masculinity, I think mm -hmm. it's really sort of important how you portray sort of black man as someone that can be vulnerable. Was that really important to you as well to put that across in your novel? Yeah, that like, that element of, of vulnerability really emerges from having a place of trust, having somewhere or someone where you're like, okay, like I trust this person and I can really be myself and be whole, whether it's like in like your more beautiful moments or in your more ugly moments. And I think it was, I really wanted to explore like how black men specifically feel because of my own experience mm -hmm. um, and kind of think about like the levels of vulnerability that we are able to share with other people or with each other and what happens when we're not able to share that vulnerability because we feel threatened or there's no way to express the hurt that we're feeling and then how like I don't want to give it or give it away in the book but how that kind of like in like interacts with the relationships around you and how other people become collateral damage because of the hurt that you're feeling. Can you explain a bit why your characters as well you made them so creative and so individual in what they do? I think so the, the man is a photographer and the woman is a, is a dancer and I wanted to have these I just wanted to have characters that felt really like lifelike and really like fleshed out and really could be themselves. Sometimes I'd be writing and like I could see the narrative going in a direction that even surprised me because like I was allowing these characters just room to just breathe and be and make their mistakes and have their successes. Um, I didn't want to lead them in any direction. Like I kind of just like wanted to wait and listen and see where they could take me. Mm, absolutely and you, and you definitely do get that through the book mm. what's sort of next for you I know this is like just the beginning of your journey <laughs> but what is next for you now as sort of this first time black author that's mm. getting an amazing amount of praise um I really want to I really want to take time to enjoy this moment I think mm. um and really kind of like go through the process and let the book develop like new meanings as time goes along and and have it really resonate with readers um i'm i've started writing a new novel as well so i'm, I'm going to be slowly working on that and it will kind of have very similar themes but i think where open water really like hones in on two specific people it will kind of look at the the wider community that makes people who they are yeah absolutely and then and one final thing i wanted just to kind of bring up as well is sort of the title of the book i think it's really powerful and I think um, it really does encompass everything you're trying to say. Do you mind sort of getting into that for me? So when people sort of see it on the shelves, like what, are the, what is that book trying to tell people? I think, so like the Open Water wasn't the original title, um, but I, and I can't remember how it emerged, but once we had that title, I was like, yeah, that's, that's the one. And it kind of, it kind of speaks to, well, there's like multiple levels to it. Um, 
like first and foremost, it speaks about this kind of this openness and this vulnerability that you want to be able to have in your everyday, but isn't always possible for black people. Mm. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's really like the primary thing, like being, being able to be out in the open and free and that tug when you know there are other things in the water that, that might stop you from doing that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And you've really kind of done that through your novel <laughs> yourself, yeah. essentially. So yeah, amazing. Congratulations Thank for this you. amazing Thank debut. You. I wish you all the best in sort of your endeavor right. moving forward. And I can't wait to sort of see what else is in the works for you. Thank you. So thank you very, very much for your time this morning.